Hi guys, welcome back. I am super excited to film this video today. I'm going to be doing a Chanel collection video and I explained it in my top 10 video. I didn't really want to do a whole bag collection video at this time, but I figured that I have enough Chanel bags that it might be kind of interesting for some people, hopefully, uh, to do a kind of Chanel collection just to show which Chanel bags I currently own. And I will say that I absolutely love Chanel. I mean, it was pretty obvious from the amount of Chanel bags that I own. My favorite brand by far. I mean, I do like other brands and I definitely have a lot of respect for other brands, but for me, Chanel is kind of the pinnacle and just if I had to only use one type of handbag the rest of my life, it would definitely be a Chanel one. I don't wanna do a disclaimer for this video because I don't really believe in them, but I will say that I have been buying Chanel bags for about 10 years now and so this collection definitely did not happen overnight. I bought a lot of them when they were cheaper and I also bought some of them pre-loved as well. I will mention when I bought something pre-loved and I mean I think that pre-loved is a great way to buy Chanel just because, well, I think it's great to sell Chanel bags because they do hold their value so well, but it's also great because you can still pick up the odd bargain and you know, if you don't mind slightly older bags, because Chanel is such a classic design and a classic shape, then it really doesn't matter if you buy a bag 10 years old because it will still look absolutely current, which is why I think Chanel is just one of those brands which is really quite suited to the pre-loved market, so I have no issues buying Chanel pre-loved. Uh, not all of them are just because some of them for whatever reason I just end up buying from the store, but I mean, it's a great way to buy them, so I will absolutely mention it uh, when I did buy pre-loved. In terms of the order I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna try and do it from the oldest bag I have to the newest, and I mean, some of them are pre-loved, so it probably won't go in terms of when they were released, but this is gonna be uh, when I bought the bag and you know when it kind of entered my collection. So that's enough preamble, I think. I'm just gonna get straight into it, and I hope that you guys enjoy. So the first ever Chanel bag I bought is this one right here and it's a, I, I don't want to say classic flap because it's not a classic flap but I mean it's in the classic flap shape. It's from the Mademoiselle line I think this is called and it's just a very simple, it's lambskin and there is no double flap, just the single and it has a nylon lining as well. And this bag was just my absolute baby for the longest time. I had to buy this pre-loved from eBay because I couldn't afford to buy from the store and I also had to go for this Mademoiselle line bag because I couldn't afford the uh, classic uh, quilted flaps, even pre-loved. It was way out of my budget and I had to scrimp and save for a whole year to buy this bag and when I finally got it, it was just like the most important item I possessed. I would freak out if anyone touched it or you know if it got a bit wet and I mean there was no need to because honestly this bag is indestructible. I I mean how long have I had this? I guess it must be 10 years and this has been through the wars. I mean through the years I have gotten a bit less careful with it which is awful I shouldn't but you know, as I've collected other bags, you know, this, I haven't been as crazy careful with it. And this has been to bars with me, it's had drinks spilt on it. It actually got caught in a bus once, like in the bus doors. And my guy friend, bless him, yanked it out, not realizing kind of, well, I mean, he had no choice. It was stuck in the bus doors. So it was like, like being crinkled, like right in the middle. And um, I was just, I was horrified. I couldn't even look like for a good few minutes. I was like, oh my God, it's gonna be ruined. It's gonna be ruined. I looked at it and it was, perfectly fine like this bag is insane it's just completely indestructible any marks i have on it you know you just buff them out and you just can't even see anything anymore the quality of it is amazing and i know it's kind of such a cliche to say they don't make them like they used to but i feel like if you bought a lambskin bag today it definitely would not be in such great condition considering all the things that this bag's been through especially considering i bought it pre-loved as well so this bag's just all kinds of amazing, I think. I will say it is kind of, um, what, how do you say it? It's kind of, the structure isn't that great on the side, so it is kind of collapsing in on itself a little bit, but this, it was like that when I bought it, to be honest. So it hasn't really gotten any worse with time, and it doesn't really bother me that much. And I mean, it has the kind of classic pocket right there, so, and it doesn't have the pattern follow through, unlike the classic flaps, but, 
Apart from that, it has all the makings of a Chanel Classic Flat, which is why I went for it. It's in black, a very neutral colour, obviously. It doesn't have the leather chains, but I do like this kind of silver hardware. I think it's really kind of pretty and elegant, and I don't have many bags of silver hardware. I tend to prefer gold now, so I like this for the variety as well. And yeah, I just, I love this bag for for sentimental reasons as well and I was just I was so proud that I'd actually managed to save up and buy this bag even though it was pre-loved like I didn't care and I still don't really care when I buy pre-loved it's just it was such a special moment for me to have finally been able to buy this bag and I just I've had so many memories with it so yeah I absolutely love this one the next bag that I bought was actually a pretty big purchase. It was the Chanel Jumbo in black caviar with gold hardware. This was my holy grail bag and again I had to save for a pretty long time to get this. I had previously bought the Maxi in lambskin and that was my one huge purchase after I bought my very first one. And that was quite a few years later, I think it was three years later that I bought that one. And whilst I loved it and I used it all the time, I just couldn't deal with the wear and tear because I used it so frequently and I don't think that lambskin bags are designed to be used that frequently. You know, you could just immediately see, even like three months after I bought it, the wear on the corners right here, on the bottom of the bag, and it was just kind of, it was just breaking my heart to see the wear on such an expensive bag because it was a huge, huge purchase for me. And so I did end up selling that bag and buying this instead. And I do remember when I bought my Maxi, I think it was about £2,000. And then when I went to buy this, and it was literally maybe six to eight months later, I think, and um, this bag was already more expensive than the Maxi I had just bought. So this was 2,500 when I bought it. And that was during the time of, you know, the crazy Chanel increases of, you know, every six months it just going up like 500 pounds. So yeah, it was a bit kind of, oh, when I went to buy this, you know, a smaller size and it was already 500 pounds more. Not a great moment, but I knew this was a better choice for me. And I also knew I'd be able to sell my lambskin one as well. So um, I did sell that one for a really good price because Chanel holds their value so well. And I have been loving this ever since. I mean, I talked about this in my top 10 favorites video, but this is my ultimate bag. It's one of the few bags that if it got stolen or ruined tomorrow, I would try and make it my mission to get one as soon as possible again. It's absolutely wonderful. I mean, it has, it's just like the shape of um, the classic medium and large size. It has, you know, the pocket and it has the double flap right there and it has the burgundy lining as well and the little Chanel stamp right there as well and yeah I absolutely love this bag I don't mind the double flap at all in fact I actually prefer it because it keeps its shape beautifully I've had this bag now five years and I can't see even a little bit of wear on it it's just absolutely immaculate and I think that's just testament to the quality of Chanel that they make such wonderful long-lasting bags that will see you through yes it's an incredibly expensive purchase these are three and a half thousand pounds now but I mean it, when I think about all the other bags you know if I if I bought contemporary line bags you know how many I would have gone through in that time I would have used you know not thrown away but you know maybe given away or something like that and instead I have this one amazing bag which is just still going strong and still looks very current and yeah oh my voice but I absolutely love this bag and I wouldn't give it up for the world the next bag that I bought was actually my first coloured Chanel bag and it's this gorgeous little pink flap right here. This is in the lambskin and I fell in love with this one because I saw that Charlotte had it in Sex and City 2 I think or maybe it was 1 but she had the beige version and I just absolutely loved the kind of braiding right here. I thought it was super pretty and I'd always wanted a pink Chanel bag. This isn't a super bright pink or anything but I love that it's so pale that it can kind of go with anything so I think that brighter pinks are sometimes kind of difficult to match but there are really no problems with this. Oh it's already open. Um, yeah just a very very pretty bag that you can wear with pretty much anything in the summer. I did get this one pre-loved as well. I bought this from eBay and I think, oh, I can't remember the seller I bought from now. I think I got it from Japan 
and I was pretty nervous getting it. Back then I was kind of a rookie Chanel buyer, but I did my research and my homework and I got it authenticated and everything. So yeah, pretty, you know, I was satisfied with the authenticity. And I mean, in terms of the wear, it was in very good condition then. I have had it for quite a few years now and I will say that it's kind, it hasn't gone through the walls because I have taken care of it, but I mean, on the back, I don't know whether you can see this, but there are definitely some marks on it here and there. And on the front, there is a tiny bit, I think it's almost the glue is beginning to show a little bit, but I think I am just gonna take this to the Chanel Spa one day, probably not now, because it's still in pretty good condition and you know, you only notice those things if you look really closely. But um, yeah, one day I think I probably will. The quilts are carried through to the bottom there, and this one does actually have the um, gold-plated hardware as well. You can see the little stamp, so it is a little bit older, which I do like because I think that's my only bag which is gold-plated, I think, because I don't tend to really like vintage bags that much, so this is kind of my one like older bag. And I mean, you can just see a single flap again. And I mean, I don't know whether you can see that, but there's kind of almost an ombre effect there, just because I do use this as summer bag, so it's often in the sunlight, which is why the color has changed a little bit. So it did used to be a bit pinker, but I like the color it is now, and it did kind of I fade, I guess. <laughs> it did kind of fade quite evenly, so I don't mind that. And I mean, it's just a very kind of plain inside. It is all leather on the inside and you just have the kind of classic pocket there with um, the zip pocket there. But yeah, I absolutely love this bag. I will always kind of reach for it in the summer or, you know, if I have a special event to go to. I always get compliments on it because I think everyone just loves the pink Chanel bag. And it's just one of those dreamy little bags which I'm just so in love with. I got it for a fairly good price as well, certainly compared to today's standards. So yeah, absolutely love this one. The next bag that I bought is another one from the Classic line and it is the medium large size and this is in the beige quilted leather um, and it's caviar as well, sorry. And ugh, I just love this little bag. I don't use this as much as the others and I don't really know why to be honest with you. Often when I'm, I'm looking for a light colour I will tend to gravitate towards my pink bag and I don't know if that's because I bought that first, but I still do really like it and I think this is just an absolute classic from Chanel. And it's the only piece I have in the kind of classic medium large size. I know the pink one kind of is, but I think of that as seasonal, so it's not quite the same. Um, and I do have two jumbos, whereas this is the only one I have in this size, so I do really like it. And this is just the classic Chanel design with the turn lock again, the double flap, and then the inside lined in leather with those pockets all the way along here, as well as the front pocket there. So exactly the same design as the Jumbo, just in kind of a smaller size, although I, I suppose I should say that this came first and then I think it was the Jumbo. I think that's true anyway. And I mean, I do really like this bag, but I do find it just a bit small for everyday use. So I don't tend to reach for it that much. And often when I'm going out, I do, gravitate towards my mini or you know perhaps even the pink bag that I have the the pink Chanel bag sorry so this definitely doesn't get as much love as it should but I still do love it nonetheless it's such a classic Chanel piece and I am really really glad that I have it and whenever I do wear it I am kind of reminded just how beautiful it is and just how how utterly Chanel it is you know how it's just quintessential Chanel so I love it for that reason. The next bag that I added to my Chanel collection is a pretty special one. It's my only, well, I say it's my only limited edition, but I don't know if seasonal pieces count as limited edition, but it's a Valentine's limited edition, so I guess that makes it different. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, it's this one right here, and this is the 2004, I think, um, Valentine's edition flat bag, so it has this beautiful kind of heart chain and oh my goodness I had been wanting this bag for so so long and I completely missed it the first time it came around and then it popped up on a pre-loved website I think it was Vestiaire Collective and I kind of just pounced on it because this was like I don't want to say holy grail bag because I think that that status should be reserved for my for my caviar jumbo but it was pretty up there I'd been lusting after this bag for so long and I finally got it and it's just beautiful. I don't use it that much because, I don't know, it's just a bit too precious for me and I, it's probably a crying shame that I do still love to look at it. The leather is so, so soft. 
it just it feels like a different kind of lambskin to the the lambskin they produce today i don't know what it is but it's just absolutely stunning it's so soft and supple and i mean it just has the kind of classic design again i feel like i'm going over and over this but it has the pocket and then on the inside i keep this one stuffed just because it is such a, a kind of precious one but it has the stamp right there and then on the inside it just has the nylon lining um like my mademoiselle line bag and you just have the take out the stuff and show you you have the pocket right there and then you also have the zip pocket as well and this is just in such wonderful condition it was such a good find and i just i still can't believe that i actually managed to find one it was in just i mean there's nothing wrong with it at all the structure is still completely perfect no real marks on it at all it's just in wonderful wonderful condition you can wear this kind of just handheld or on the shoulder as well it does fit and i mean how cute is that i just i love it <laughs> um it's just such a darling little bag definitely a girly one it's this kind of gorgeous corally pinky red um, and of course the chains are ridiculously girly you have it's um they're all purples like all purples and pinks and whites but oh my goodness such a lovely bag you think that this would be uncomfortable as well but it's really not i'm not sure why but um but yeah it's just it's still pretty i mean i don't load it down or anything like that um you wouldn't because it's such a delicate bag but yeah it's just it feels completely fine it feels like a regular chain to me so ooh, threw some tissue paper on the floor uh yeah an absolutely special special piece from chanel and one that i just treasure and just love to have in my collection the next bag that I added to my collection is this little guy. It's the Chanel Mini in black caviar with gold hardware in the square size. I did recently do a video on this, just kind of proclaiming my love for this bag because my love for it is pretty deep. It's just such a gorgeous little design. I like the fact that it's the square design because whilst I think that the rectangular design is cute, I don't really like how it's just a shrunk down version of the, the bigger flap. So I like how this is its own little size and shape and I just think it's such a beauty. I love it casually, I love it dressed up. It can fit a surprising amount in it. There's no kind of double flap or anything. It's just, you know, a simple, square open space really and you can fit a surprising amount in here so it's just great for so many different occasions for that reason i do wear it uh, on the shoulder it's a bit too the strap is a bit too short for me to wear cross body i think but you definitely could do that and again i love it in the caviar just because this thing is indestructible i mentioned in my other video but i did buy this pre-loved as well and i got this from ride dressing and i got it for a fairly good price especially considering that it's really difficult to find in this particular combo and this is just one of my fast favorites for sure definitely up there in my top three chanel's and just a wonderful kind of classic piece so if you can get your hands on one of these i really do recommend it it's a great starter chanel bag as well it's still pretty pricey it's priced at 1590 i believe but you know it's still like half the price of the other kind of chanel mainstays so like the medium large flap and the and the jumbo so if you are kind of dipping your toe in the water and you do like small bags then I really do recommend this one because it's just such a fabulous little bag. The next bag you'll recognise if you watch my top 10 favourites video and it is the Chanel Jumbo in red lambskin. This is another one of my favourites, I feel like I'm saying that about every bag but I just love my Chanel bag so much. And this one I had been lusting after for so long. Possibly, you know, as soon as I got my black jumbo, a red jumbo was on my list. Definitely the, the jumbo is just my favourite size. I love it. I think it works for day and I also think it works for night. It is a little bit big for night, but that doesn't stop me. I absolutely use it for going to dinner, just going out. Like, I think it's just a really, really great size. You can fit so much in here. You can just, I mean, I might do a separate video on that, but it's just really, really roomy there's a lot of space in there and I think the maxi is just a little bit too big for me personally but in terms of how it looks and how much it fits I just think that this is the perfect size it does have the double flaps again and then it just has the pocket on the side and then the quilting carried through to the bottom as well this is with the ruthenium hardware as well the shiny one and this was from 15c or 15a again i said in my top 10 video i don't remember the exact season but it was um from the early part of this year 
and oh just an absolutely stunning bag and red Chanel's actually do go with a lot of things I thought it would be quite difficult to match but it really hasn't been the case at all and apart from the fact that it is lambskin so it is a bit delicate you know there is I mean that's not really a flaw of the bag it's just kind of a feature of the bag that you have to be aware of I did want it in the lambskin because I think when you're getting pops of color I just think there's nothing more luxurious than than red lambskin so I actually love it um, I don't use it crazy often just because I kind of want to preserve it in its new beauty as long as possible but when I do it's just so special and oh just a magical magical bag. My last two bags you'll probably recognise if you've watched some of my other videos and these are the two bags that I did buy from Heathrow. The first one being the Chanel wallet on a chain and this is in the red caviar with the silver hardware and I'm not going to go into it in too much detail because I do have that whole other video revealing it but you can just see, I mean, I keep the cards in there. I haven't used it that often. I have used it a few times though. I do like it. I don't like it as much as my Chanel Mini just because it can't fit as much in it. But if you are a minimalist and you don't carry much, then this is a great choice. It's a pretty good price point as well. I think they're 1,250 in the stores and at Heathrow it's 1,050 pounds. So, I mean, I say it's a good price point. It's crazy expensive for a bag this size, but for Chanel, I think it's a relatively good price point and just one of those kind of classic kind of Chanel things. I feel like everyone should own a wallet on a chain and I do like mine even if I don't use it as much as I should. When I do use it, I do, when I don't need that much stuff, I do love the ease of it. This one I can carry crossbody. It's a bit too long for me to wear just on the shoulder so it's always crossbody and I really like being hands-free so for that reason I really do like this one. And my very last bag is the Chanel GST, which I have right here. And I absolutely love this bag. It took me a while to kind of even think about buying it because I was so focused on the classics, which were just going up in price so quickly. This one has gone up in price as well, but in comparison to the others, it's just it's nothing at all. I think it's still under £2,000. And I mean, again, I know that's a crazy amount of money, but for Chanel, you know, it's it's a pretty reasonable price for, for this size of bag. In terms of quality, I mean, it isn't the same as a jumbo, but you still get a lot of bang for your buck, I think. And I really have fallen in love with it just for its functionality and how practical it is. It has just two huge compartments there, as well as a zipper and some other pockets as well. The perfect work bag, in my opinion. It's just so great. I've really been loving it. I like the different compartments to organize my stuff. The other work bag I use is my Neverfull and everything gets lost in that so I like that everything is so easy to find here you do also have another pocket there I don't tend to use that but you know you can do I'm sure you can put your phone in there if you wanted to um but yeah a really really great value bag and I mean everyone kind of talks about this bag I think as a starter bag but I really think that whether it's your first Chanel bag or your fifth Chanel bag if you like functional totes and you like the Chanel look then you'll absolutely love this bag it really is great it's a little bit I don't want to say flimsy but it's definitely not as sturdy as the jumbo or some of the classic flaps but I'm okay with that I like the fact that it has nylon lining as well so it's not really heavy especially for something of this size which again in my opinion makes it perfect for work you don't have to use it for work obviously I tend to but sometimes I do take it shopping and I get a lot of compliments on it as well considering that I think it's one of the more common Chanel bags people just really seem to love it they seem drawn to kind of the overall design and I've got to say I completely agree with them. I think that it's just a really, really wonderful Chanel design without kind of having the exorbitant price tag of, you know, the jumbo or something like that. So if you are considering getting this, I would do it ASAP. I have heard that they are discontinuing it, which is really sad. I hope that they don't, but yeah, grab it while you can if you are interested in it because I have not regretted it for a second. I, I really do love this bag now. So that's it for this video you guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments about any of the bags that I featured, please do leave them in the comments below and I will definitely answer you. Also please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And that's about it, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.